side. Only had two catches a week ago. Has to come up bigger today. Are those Browns starts at running back and gets nothing. A loss of a yard. And there's that talented freshman about whom Holly Rowe is speaking. Manti Teo, the most highly recruited defensive player in the country last year out of Hawaii. A guy that's really starting to come on. He's on the field, a true freshman, but very, very athletic. A kind of defensive linebacker you uh, Notre Dame hasn't had. From the shotgun, here's Barkley. Rush chases him from the pocket, directing a little traffic. Now tucks another and takes a hit. Black from Hawaii makes the stop number five. Notre Dame fans love to see this. Coming from the second level as a linebacker, reads it perfectly, avoids the traffic. The defensive line won the battle, which freed up. Trojans now with a first down. Matt Barkley has a man open. It's McCoy. There's a nice sure tackle made by Manti Teo. The linebacker. He didn't decide on which school he was going to go to until uh, five. Hawaii number five. And Dad might give him a little sign to get a little bit lower with the big, the big freshman linebacker Teo. By the way, he's not only athletic as a linebacker, but he has a lot of weight at 200. He's going to fire for the first time here tonight. And short of the first down, Ryan Whalen is the receiver. That's his. Shinsky, there's the pump, trying to go deep, nothing there. There was, there was a hold on uh, Darius Fleming. It was good. It uh, has great foot speed. You know, he's 245 pounds, number five, right in here. And watch him get there. Read it, smelled it, felt it. Get it, got it. Harris stopped for a loss. Shinsky under pressure, sets up a screen. Harris decked on the play. Great Notre Dame defense by the freshman. And Teo, number five, cone off there on the right. Gets a helmet in the ribs and gets twisted by John Ryan. Nothing doing for Harris again. Stuffed by Manti Teo. Couldn't have come at a better time for Notre Dame. They brought pressure. They, they have not brought as many blitzes tonight as they had in the minute game tonight. Here comes John Toledo with the blitz. Elliott's in trouble, and down he goes. And the blitz paid off. A loss of 12. A lot of expectations for here in South Bend. I mean, probably the most significant defensive recruit they've had during Charlie Weiss's era having to come to balance and make plays. Blitz by Brian Smith from the inside out. Teo stays all open. kick бокового удара, очередной bubble и потеря yardов. Folks zero playbook of possibilities. First down play, Manti Teo with the big hit for the Irish defense on the quarterback Denard Robinson. Talked about Manti Teo. Here's the running back right here. Teo last week missed the tackle. Here's the bounce to the outside and tremendous athletic ability to get a piece and keep it on. Robinson, designed run. Got a block on the corner. Stopped, though, by Teo, short of first down yardage. That's his new bubble. Nice to do. From the shotgun, Robinson throws a screen and dropped again, this time by Michael Shaw. Looks like the Irish blitz come. Robinson to the vacated area, but then a sure tackle by Teo, who grabbed on and would not let go. Which is why coaches like to control things from the sideline. And they roll away from it. Good block on the edge. Calabrese down in six. Robinson handing to Shaw again, trying to string it out. Good job with the Notre Dame defense. Manti Teo and Harrison. Вот он нападение. Вагл, Вагл сыграли. Ну что ж, интересно играют, конечно. Done a great job, but I want to know why Robinson throws off his back foot like this. Set yourself so you don't throw a better football instead of on the shoelaces. Give your receiver an opportunity to make a play. Roundtree catches it off his shoelaces from the man named Shoelace. Talk about run fits again. Denard Robinson slide up. The running back got on the outside. They only bring three this time. Manual 
Once again complete, Devontae Freeman, his running back, just taking what they give him there at the 29 yards. talked about him being an impact player, and this is what he has to do. He gets off of a block. Good job by Notre Dame of kind of just stretching that play to the sideline. To the 34. And out of the shotgun. Daniels. Trying to get out of trouble, brought down the line of scrimmage. Mentai Teo haven't called his name really at all so far, but. Now at third and 14, they've been sacked four times, have the Noles. Complete, but well short of the line to make to James Watt. Notre Dame player nearly 20 years last year. Teo, just great individual effort, makes the tackle. Huge play. In the Orange Bowl, James Wilder. And Wilder wrapped up that time by Manti Teo. Pressure up the middle again, and he goes down again. Teo right after him. Quarterback draw, keeps it, trying to get the first down, and this one's going to depend on where they spot the football. Trips down to the bottom of your screen. Gennard is thrown for a loss on that play by Teo. Manti Teo number. And meanwhile, Notre Dame all too conditioned to turnovers in the red zone. This is Freeman now. He loses the ball. It is scooped up by Mata, who returns it for the score. В случае, если игрок защиты никогда не выйдет в нападении, то есть мы видим пятый номер у Ланбекера, представителя полинезийцев, и... I mean, look at it. Spond was going to stop. This is another planned quarterback run. The guard pulls. Teo cuts inside the guard. Ricky Barnum and makes the tackle. To adjust to get ready for it. Teo's on the quarterback. Sacks him on the 25-yard line. The senior from Hawaii. Draw play. Williams to the 41 yard line and Teo makes another stop. 12 completions and Saunders has eight of them and here comes Miller the fullback. Teo up over the top. How do you do? Here comes number five. And also let's give an assist to Dan Fox who gets all over Saunders and knocks that football up into the air. Brent, I just said Notre Dame tightened their coverage up. They made Saunders work to his point. And a good job by the linebacker Look Fox. Look out, it was coming loose. It's the and watch the speed that he has to be able to get to the outside. Irwin tries to block him. And this is the difference right there in what we've seen from anti Teo the last couple years and what we're seeing this year. They tried to make an adjustment, but clearly the message not delivered the right side there between Eichert to center and Bronson Irwin, the right guard. They didn't communicate well enough. And the one guy you always want to be aware of. Now on first down, Jones straight back. Teo grabbed it. Teo may have gotten an interception. It's being signaled, yes. The ball was in the air. Use his eyes to look this way, and then he turns around and looks up Marquise Lee. See him look back to locate him? Then he positions himself between the quarterback and Marquise Lee. Wittick, I think, again, I don't think he thought that Teo would be able to come over and make the play. Just trying to keep the play alive. 
He knows he's not going to get the first down. He just flipped the ball into the air, hoping that Lippin might pick it up, but instead it's Tao. The ball's definitely out before he stepped out, but really it doesn't matter other than giving it a five seat. said that's enough of that, <laughs> Mr. Red. He sure did. And Holmes, the center, tried to get up. He tried to climb to the second level. You see that? 78. With the instincts and the quickness that time, a man tied to the block on his way to make the tackle on screen. Tight ends coming across, tries to block him. He goes inside the block and makes the clean hit. Ball just outside the 40. That movement right there, because it's so late, can affect the offensive line and their communication. The guard came around, 66, he has no one to pick up, and it makes it easy. Tail slips right behind him. Confusion because of... On first down in trouble, and snapped it off for about a three-yard gain. The big D on. Bring it heat. Watch Teo. He's going to co get come down on the ground, but continue to roll into the quarterback and grab his ankle. To it coming from the other way does not allow him to escape. Trying to keep their hopes alive, slim as they might be, and that's not going to get it done. Notre Dame football. Ball was taken away over there on the uh, on the far side. Ball's right. thrown a little bit high, but it's just his reaction. The fact that he's always seems to be in the right spot. The ball was thrown to Dante Elliott. It looked like Lewis Nix actually got just a little bit of a hand on it. Enough to be able to make Dante Elliott have to adjust to the ball, and it went off of the, his shoulder pad and into the air. And, of course, it's been one of those kind of years. Number five sitting right there for the interception.